Tyreen, do, do you have a font? <laughs> <laughs> huh? do, do you have a preferred font? Um, no, I don't. All right, sweet. Wait, <laughs> am I the only weirdo who had a font? <laughs> <laughs> when I tell oh. you, I thought it was a rhetorical question. Like, ooh, do you have a font? Like, what? A font? Hey, man, oh. I'm being nice. All right, I can all j I can make everybody's Comic Sans. All right, I, I, it, it's nice Rude. to ask. Rude. It's nice to Rude. ask. Uh. <laughs> Comic Sans or Papyrus, and we will fight. Uh, I will find you, and we will fight. The same. Even okay. I knew out of Comic Sans. <laughs> Comic Sans is classic. Come on. It's it is classic. a classic. Hmm. Okay, and. I just want to kind of reiterate, have patience with me, because I have played online D&D, &D, but I have not played Roll20 focused D&D, &D, so I might be doing a lot of, uh, oh god, do y'all cuss? Oh, I hope we can curse. I, I too <laughs> right. am grateful. Because I was pausing, I was like, because I might be asking a whole lot, how the fuck do you do this? Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. Um, we're, we're here to help you learn Roll20 if it's not a platform that you're um, familiar with, so no worries. I've used it, it's just that I haven't used it primarily. Like, mm -hmm. my DM used Roll20 mainly for the maps, but we did all of the character roles and all of that stuff through D&D &D Beyond. So, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. so, ah. Patience, have grace with me. Um, but I think I think I'm gonna pull it out. Kyrene, can you do me a favor and just like talk for a little bit? Who me? Yes. Just like say um, a random sentence. Um <laughs> My brain like immediately went blank. <laughs> no no, it's okay. Oh. Brown okay. fox. The brown fox. I do. I'll be right yeah. back. Uh, yeah, brown be right fox. back in like two minutes. Okay, cool. So hype. The hype is real. The hype is real. Uh, let's see. Let me follow you. Oh, your your profile is so cute. Thank you. I traditionally stream with my girlfriend, so that's what I do. Yeah. Excuse me, what did you just do? Hello? You fucker. Oh, I didn't use that. Love that hashtag. Yeah. I just do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Window, window. There we go. We're stretching already? Shoot. <laughs> Thank you. All mics are hot. Almost definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I think that's nope. I need the D and D one. Oh shit! Alrighty. You did just remind me, Neo, that I do need to lower. <laughs> I do have to lower uh, the uh, micage. For everyone. Can you also hear me? Yes. I am moving shit. I'm moving tabs to move over. Thank you. And now the mics are too low. Nice. <laughs> I think. Yep, there it is. All right. Your voice has been disconnected because you're connected to another location. Oh, because you're a smart cookie. Okay. Ninety-five should. And now, excellent. Okay. Water. 
I think I just have roll 20 and uh, my screen and our Discord chat up in one window, so I should be good. Hopefully. Okay, and now I can see it. Bet. Uh. Are we supposed to be able to hear y'all right now? Yes. <laughs> Should we count off? Yeah. Alright, that was Apple, DM, Shall we? Oh wait, hold on. Bro. Let me transition first, hold on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> check, 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 one, two, one, two. Apple? Check, check, one, two, one, two. Shall we? Check, check, one, two, one, two. Irene? Oh, sorry. Uh, blue, check two, one, two. And Excellent. Shadow Master oh, G6. Apollo, check, check, Shao one, two. Ko? Thank you. Shao Ko. Yeah. How do you say your name, bro? I am Shao Ko. Shao Ko. Mm, there's no way to describe that pronunciation in English. Shao. Shao Ko. Shao Ko? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but see that as an extra syllable that doesn't actually exist. It's Shao Ku. Shao. Shao. Ah. Shao as in like shower. Ooh as in like, ooh, oh wow. And then Ku. Like, we're Ku. Yeah, but if you take off the ER of shower, it's no longer Shao. It's then show because oh. English sucks. English does suck. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all fine. Can the stream here is all I've right? Been, I've literally been thinking about your name since last night Thank when you. I put together the pinned message. I was like, Shao? Shao Ku, but... Is everyone able to hear in stream? Yes. Or do I need to turn up their audio? Let me know now in the chat. We're on an ad right now, I think. Oh no, ad time. Add oh shit, I'm not on the stream. Jesus Christ, um, <laughs> how do I get on the stream? I'm in the Discord. Uh, there. I believe, I believe that Neo is hosting as well as oh, you can check okay, in self-promotion. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go to gaming. Oh, so I need to be on Twitch on Neo. Okay, bet. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. I suspect I am the oldest and I am currently shaking my cane at all of you. <laughs> Are you is every um, I hope everyone's one, ready. Jesus. Um I no, think stop. I am unless there's not something else I need to do on my end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys are watching the stream and we're all set up, we're ready to go. I don't see Should the be. stream. All I see is on air. In Neo's Discord server. Let me see. I'll and put a link I to am... it in our direct, our direct messages. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was like, is the is the sound good? Are we good? Oh, it's not Neo's stream. It's your stream, sir. Yes. <laughs> uh, I know that Neo was hosting. Thank you for the follow. And now I hear us, but with a All delay. All right, Jack, this is are we, weird. Uh, we hear us? That's because you, you probably have your Twitch audio on. Thank you. Okay, let me figure out how to turn that shit off. Hello? Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, excellent. No echo on the stream. Good. All right, I think everybody can hear <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Uh, well, I think we can just start by doing a quick introduction of all of us. So, I'm Apple. I'll be the DM of this little train wreck that y'all are going to be witnessing. Um, who's next? Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Not oh. Train wreck. Uh, hello. My name is Apollo or Shadowmaster G6. I will be the uh streamer <laughs> for our little campaign session i hope you guys do enjoy our 
little world. Hi, I'm, I'm good. Blue. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Is it, you want to go? <laughs> go ahead, Blue. Go ahead, Blue. Uh, I'm Blue, also known as King V. Uh, they, them, I'll be playing Kyrene, and I'm excited to be here. Hey, y'all. I am Phenomenal, also known as K. she, her. In game, I am Chawi, and I am terrified and excited to be here. This is going to be awesome. I go by Plot Smoke. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in game, I'll be playing uh, Shauku. And I'm just looking up, see where this goes. All right. Then I guess without further ado, let's not keep waiting any longer. We all know why we're here. So, uh, we mean business. Yeah, let's get started. Get it. Let's do it. Let go. All right. Then, in that case. Oh my god, if you say roll initiative, I'm taking the <laughs> Out the rip? Away. <laughs> I, I just got here. Oh, <laughs> oh the dribble. <laughs> we begin our story with the convergence of hundreds. Stories of love and the men. Stories told and untold. Known and unknown even to those who star in them. And yet, despite the countless variety of these stories, they each share the similitude of having their newest chapter begin in one rotation. Hillard University of the Adventuring Arts. This chapter, though sought by many, is granted to only those stories who show the brightest of potential. Moments before here, before now, before Hillard, the previous chapters of these stories were written. All mixes of tearful goodbyes and heartfelt promises and comfortable solitude. And as marvelous as they were, those moments are not for us to see. Those moments are not mine to share. Instead, we start our story here, in the courtyard. As massive and vibrant as the horde of students appearing within it, it has been two full years since this courtyard has felt the weight of freshmen. Two years since freshmen have felt the weight of the castle that looms ominously before them. And two years of waiting by the man who stands before them all. The man is tall and dark, unmistakably elven, and looks out over the crowd with Titan's eyes. Though it's Impossible to describe, his gaze holds an air of inhuman perceptiveness, as if he can see every single person in the crowd for the individual that they are, as if he can discern every student, every story gathered before him today. And Apollo, as you swear for the briefest of moments that he makes eye contact with you, what does he see? Apollo is a lithe young man. Uh, he's athletically toned, but on the slimmer side, he has white hair and green eyes and a small little scar going down his left eye. And in his ears are two golden crosses to match. He currently is wearing a black and gold uh, Hayori uh, one that would suggest the form of an archer. He's shy and nervous. He's holding his arm and looking around curiously, unable to meet the gaze of the stranger in front of him. 
and his gaze continues over the crowd. Kyrie, for a fraction of a second, it feels as if only you and him are here on this day. What does he see? Um, he sees a tall, uh, deep, dark brown being with long, like, pointy, almost elf ears, but they lay a little low. Uh, bright pink or green fading into a bright pink, uh, kind of messy bob with a long braid, stopping at the waist. Um, kind of, uh, they're wearing, like, a white button up, but the, like, the first, like, four buttons are in button. They're, like, slouching in the chair. Just probably have a plant in their in their hand right now, <laughs> just messing with the leaves, examining it. And then the instant is gone as his eyes move on. Shauku. As this individual's gaze passes over you, it's almost as if he sees you, as if he really sees you. What does he see? Um, <clears throat> despite him seeing me the way he does, he really, everybody else can only see my eyes because, um, I still stand medium height, uh, I have a hooded jacket on, head covering, and my lower face is covered, so only my eyes are showing, um, our colors, dark browns, uh, leather, wool, and I just look back at him. And his gaze moves on, and for the briefest of moments, they seem to fall on Chawi. What do they see? They see a petite woman, darkest of dark brown skin, with locks of the brightest shimmering blue, with little charms of silver and blue and white in her hair. The bottom half of her face is also cloaked, wearing a mask. Her eyes dart across the crowd as she stands in a kind of relaxed but ready pose. She isn't certain of where she is, but she knows that she can be there. And as those timeless eyes continue to move over the crowd, they hush as, with a somatic flourish, a wand apparates in this figure's hand. They place it to their throat, and they begin to speak. I am Professor Sekiris Hillard, Assistant Dean at Hillard University, and I would like to welcome you all to the most prestigious of spaces. You, the prospective students of these hallowed halls, have been chosen by deed, by power, or by lineage. And that word, lineage, it echoes for Four stories in particular, stories that are either painfully aware of the lineage that they have come here to uphold, or painfully oblivious to a lineage that they have no clue where they come from. Professor Hillard continues to speak. He speaks of students as fine iron, of great professors and as they all teleport in you can see a slew of people who have dedicated their lives to honing the potential of editing and sharpening and tending to the hundreds of stories that grace these halls each year and as the professor continues to speak Chowie, you hear a student whisper, a bit loudly, um, more of a stage whisper than anything. Is it just me, or are these professors, like, distracting me hot? And 
and I... a bunch of people like over her and you see this woman I kind of look over her and catch her eye you know that kind of eye catch that says I heard what you said I'm not going to call you out but girl yes <laughs> um, you exchange this look she is kind of shunned into silence by the rest of the crowd uh, Professor Hill continues to speak normally as custom the headmaster would lead this ceremony. Dean Evanfall, with the showing of magical skill from the prospects. However, in his absence, the duty must fall upon me. And I prefer a more practical approach. Karim. They, they look up, they kind of sit up in their seat a bit. You hear a voice in your head, a familiar voice. Mother throwing a tizzy that you didn't say goodbye. Roll me a perception check. Of course she is. Um. Sorry, I didn't even have my character sheet up. That's okay. Um, 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 perception. Nice. With a 16, um, almost as if your mind is pulled in the direction that you're supposed to look, you see standing behind Professor Hillard uh, amongst the professors. Your brother, Fern, looking at you rather sternly. Oh my god. He actually came? Are you fucking kidding me? Your brother. What? I think Kyrie makes eye contact and then kind of rolls their eyes and th this is a message, right? Yes, you can respond with 25 words or less. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> Kyrie would say, it's not like she cared to say goodbye anyway. They're like being a brat and they're doing it on purpose. And then they look away. Like I'm done with that conversation, moving on. You don't see their reaction. You don't get a follow-up message, so you assume that they're also done with the conversation as Fern stands in silence with the rest of the professors behind Professor Hillard. And he continues. This shall be your first examination, Prospect. A good, old-fashioned Monster Hunt. Shaoku. You see a tiefling. Uh, usually they're very rare, but you have grown up in a uh, very sought after orphanage in Ingleton. They kind of bear a resemblance to someone you knew there. And at the moment that a monster hunt is mentioned, you can see this child, maybe no older than 18, 19, barely college age, he immediately begins to kind of uh, tense up and shake and kind of like clutch his fist a bit and looks just genuinely uncomfortable. And this person is next to me or? Like, yeah, like directly next to you. I kind of just, uh, 
glance at him, give him a look over. And then I, I don't say anything. I just continue looking at the team. And he continued. This is not your typical hunt for stag, for sport, or beasts hungry for your livestock. Apollo, at that word, sport. Apollo flinches a little bit, but uh, the grip, uh, his grip tightens as if he's done this countless times. You will fight creatures of my own creation. For I am the amalgamate wizard, secure as Hillard. I make monsters. Some of you have probably never killed before. Well, best of luck on that. Mm. You will need your magic as well as your cunning, if you intend to pass, and quite possibly the weave on your side. Ta-ta. <clears throat> and similarly to the teleportation that banished you, or sent you here to this demiplane that Hill exists upon, there is a pull of spatial energy as you all find rocketed from this core and plunged into an incredibly dense, incredibly dark forest. And then we get to go to the student store. Can I bring Jesus into this canyon? Because I need him to take the wheel. Roll for Jesus. <laughs> Roll for Jesus. Divine intervention. This really okay. <laughs> Just oh, oh my God, we're really wow. Okay, we we are doing this. Is that okay. a religion check? <laughs> I, For the I most part, know. it seems Is that, that the majority of you are uh, probably religion. Yeah, roll, roll religion for Jesus. Jesus, Jack. take the dice. Jesus, oh take God. the dice. Are in Jesus. Fucking religion. I religion. cast pray. <laughs> oh my God, religion. Here, take one of my Do cross earrings. You'll need it. Okay, that's not bad. Like twelve. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. There's no Jesus. It's not high enough for Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay, so he ain't taking a will, which means I'm staring. Uh. For the most part, you guys seem to be completely and entirely alone in the forest that surrounds you. The canopy is dense and seems to block uh, most of the sunlight that is created in this space. Do I and hear... What do you do say? I, do I hear or smell anything? Like, can I take a look around and see, get a feel for the immediate vicinity? Roll me a perception check or survival check. Show Let's see here. I'll do a, or can I do a nature? No, I'll do a survival. Nice. Hello. That's a uh, 24. We'll take the left one for now on a uh, 13. Okay. Just because advantage, roll 20 does a thing. But oh, gotcha. with 13 survival, you immediately begin to notice that this force is not natural. Uh, it is magically spawned, magically created. This entire space seems to operate on different rules than the nature that you yourself are inherently attuned to as a druid. And on a 16 perception, and in fact, could everyone please roll me a perception? Um, I like 
like none of this. Okay, perception. Perception. Think. Is that wrong? Perception, not performance. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think you might be rolling to GM by the way. Perception. Yeah, and I'm not sure how to turn that off. Under your name. I got you. Oh, public. That's what that thing means. I saw that up there, and I was like, what the heck does that mean? Okay. <laughs> yep. Alright. So that should do it. Yes? Oh, nice. yeah. Damn. Bet, shall we? Okay. Oh, okay. Let's Not go. 20. Right. That's that. 20 of the campaign. Alright. I was wondering what that, again, I haven't played much on Roll20 directly, so I was like, what does this to public versus to JM thing mean? <laughs> now yeah. I know. Right. Uh, all of you here, uh, Chawi, you hear at first the sound of crunching bark and rending dirt, and above it all, there is a blood-curdling scream of some woman echoing deeper in the forest. All of you hear it, Shaoi, you know exactly the direction it came from. Shaoku, you know roughly the direction it came from. Apollo and Kyrene, you're gonna have to roll survival to see if you can make out where this scream and the sounds of battle are coming from in this echoing forest. All right. Um, what are my climbing skills like? Because I feel like I need to go up a tree. You can roll me an right athletics now. check to get up a tree if you like. Can I roll a dex check to go up a tree? Explain to me how you're using dex to get up this tree. Well, because instead of using, you know, just pure strength, I am eyeballing the distance between the limbs and leaping and twisting and balancing my body to get myself up this tree. Yeah, I'll say athletics or acrobatics to kind of use your momentum, uh, not your own physical strength of, you know, twirling and spinning to get up this tree. I'll go for acrobatics. Yeah, no, you, you got this. Well, you got no, this. I, mm, um, mm. You mm -hmm. get up the first branch. It's fine. Um, you know, you have to use your momentum, you know, centrifugal force to use the rotational balance of your own body mass to propel you forwards and upwards and so you start to swing and swing and swing and you let go at just the right moment and then halfway through the air you realize it's not the right moment at all and you like impact on the dirt mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. ouch you okay <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, i'm just kind of looking up at the sky and at all the tree branches above me and i'm just like no. And as we cut away from Chawi, face down in the dirt, Apollo, you have been trained in survival since a very young age in tracking and hunting. It was one of the main things that got you uh, as good as you are with the bow. And you managed to discern the general direction of where the screen is coming from. Apollo not really wanting to take charge uh, of the group. Uh, he looks away from the others and points in the direction. None of you are by each other. Oh, you are all, oh we're all different. Like you okay. are in distance okay. to uh, hear the screen. Oh. Okay. Oh. If that is the case, then Apollo will immediately don his mage armor. All right. And what does Apollo's magic look like, by the way? So it's really interesting. So, Apollo's magic starts emanating from his ring. Um, it takes the form of this dark uh, umbra, like as if from the deepest reaches of space that manifests itself, and it covers, uh, it begins covering him in a multicolored, star patterned armor. Right. And with a shimmer and a feeling of reassurance, 
your mage armor envelops your entire body as your ring engulfs you with the magic. And with that, Apollo's going to keep an eye open and start walking towards the sound of the scream. All right. Shawuku, what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> after I hear the scream, I pull my uh, shield from my back and ready that <clears throat> in my left hand. And then in my right hand, I ready a uh, produced flame and just kind of light up around me and just have it ready. And uh, yeah, I move towards the sound too. Kyrene. Um, I think, hold on, okay, sorry, I had to take my hands up for a second. Uh, no I think Kyrene would hear the noise, um, I think they'd also cast Mage Armor, and their Mage yeah. Armor, like, they already have a giant flower crown in their hair, big, like, huge flowers in their you know, long braid, I think that would just kind of extend on them. So they'd kind of have designs wrapped around their body, kind of look like, looking like braces, looking like a leather vest. Uh, and they dart to where, to the direction that they heard the scream. Charlie, you know the exact direction where this scream came from with an at 20 perception. Um, you are, however, on your back looking up a canopy right now. What are you doing? I am considering very strongly the fact that most of my training involved being in the city and not being in the woods and realizing, oh shit, or can we use some extra ad? And realizing just how mm, hemmed up I might be, but I am stubborn and I have a good sense of direction so i just kind of stand up and you know brush the dirt off my back and head towards the direction that i know that scream came from all right i'll wait for this ad break to finish just a little bit yeah okay I'm okay so, so it's not just me that oh, the ad you're... showed up at this is like what finally got this <laughs> but at least we can still talk over the ad so that's cool mm -hmm. yeah. yep, yep. also i realized this is a thing that i did not realize i totally thought i could roll debts <laughs> but i can't it's like acrobatics or athletics or oh, damn it all right yeah and we're back. So, shall we, as you get up and you start to head towards the scream, the four of you, um, you converge on what appears to just be a very small clearing. Uh, you each see each other's characters at the edge of it and signs of a definite struggle. There are sort of claw marks and gash marks in tree trunks and the dirt and leaves have been completely and totally displaced around this clearing area. And four of you meet each other's gaze since none of you rolled stealth and you see each of you three other individuals uh all investigating this screen did y'all hear that too yeah yup apparently not yeah can they and look around we? to see you what's where? your name Who are you looking at? Who are you asking? You asking me? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> My name is Shaoku. Is this part of the uh, initiation or first test? This is they threw us right into this, right? Hey, so. you at Hitler? You at? Oh wait, we we all at Hitler? We yeah. Are. I bet then. Yeah, we 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 all in this together. <sighs> of course they did. Mm hmm. <laughs> So, All right. <clears throat> so you said I see we see claw marks and stuff like that. Yeah. Can I investigate the claw marks? Yeah, yeah. I like that. I would also like to. I want to feel free to roll either a 
you'd like to. Sorry, you broke up for me. What, what did you say we could roll? You can all roll an investigation or a survival check, whichever you would feel more comfortable with in this scenario. I'll do survival. Yeah, I'll do survival too. Investigation. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, my rolls are... It's okay. It's okay. We've got I'm to taste... a team. I'm tapping the dirt. I'm tasting my fingers. I'm doing all that. Apollo's, like, trying to catch the wind. With... I'm sniffing minimal the air. conversation like, between mm. the four of you, you all begin investigating different corners of this scene of what you all quickly managed to discern with your survival roles is some kind of an attack. Kyrene with an 11. You don't see much evidence of where this thing went, um, where it went after this scene or what it might have gone. And you know yourself well enough that you know you would have noticed any tracks on land. Uh, but that lack of noticing kind of clues you in that whatever this creature is probably doesn't travel at least by the forest floor. Apollo, with a 17, you see there is no evidence of blood, no evidence of injuries, no evidence of, of wounds or anything like that. And that clues you in that whatever was attacked here, whoever that scream was, was one, either swallowed whole, or two, taken alive. Shauku and Shawi. You investigate the claw marks, and you swiftly begin to realize that they are not claw marks at all, but talon marks of some kind of bird-like creature and as the pair of you look up Shauku notices it just a fraction of a second before you do there are very very clear evidences of something flying off in the east broken branches and fallen leaves making its way offwards towards the east. And how far away is it? Um, you just see the trail. Whatever did this attack is long gone. Okay. To the east, to the east. Shall we begin making our way in pursuit of this creature? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, if you want to. Up. I mean, it's I mean, kind of why, why I, we're here, right? If I remember I correctly, if I remember correctly, our goal was to catch a monster before we kind of got dropped in the middle of nowhere. Catch it or kill it? It's two different things. Mm, catch it, kill it, potato, potato. Because mm. once you catch it, it's very easy to kill it afterwards. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Maybe uh, let's not kill the monster if we can help it, but let's definitely follow these tracks. Fair <laughs> enough, but yes. We we are looking for a monster, one way or another. Mm. And these tracks going east clearly indicate the way the monster went. Well, I say follow let's try uh, let's go as quietly as possible because I don't want to kill the monster, but I will if I have to. Oh, sweet mother of God. Are we about to roll still? Oh, that sounds clanky. like it. Oh, sounds clanky, like clanky. that. That's it. Everybody, please oh, roll still. Oh, this is going to be interesting. God damn. Oh, Matt, wow. me, baby. Matt. God what? damn. <laughs> I've, been a, I've been a rogue for years. <laughs> Yes. The, the trees just, it's home, you know? Even though it's a funky ass, like magical forest, like it's home for Kyrie. They blend right in. Let's see. Shaugu. Um, yeah. Starting yeah. with you. <laughs> you're not terrible at it. You 
do your best to stick to the shadows and stick to areas that are darkly lit, but as you are a being of fire, and with that fire uh, comes dark vision, which for you is sort of seeing in the infrared scale of things, seeing um, much, much brighter than the normal average human being can. What you assume is shadow is pretty, pretty well lit. Um, the starting shadow is, is one thing, and so you're not terrible at stealth, but uh, most people who have a passive perception of above 10 can see you. I just had a bad moment there. Yeah. Everyone else. Um, <laughs> everyone else. You disappear into this forest, um, moving as a unit, keeping track of each other while also just sticking to the shadows. If not following, I guess, the general area of where Shaoku is, you would not be able to keep track of each other at all. And so as you guys are making your way eastwards towards these tracks, uh, I will ask what formation is the party moving in? If it's a line, Kyrian is third. Apollo would be at the very end with his bow drawn. Apollo's in the very back. Shall mm -hmm. would be first. Shall be first. And I'll be second. <clears throat> I'll put away to produce flame and follow her. Please don't light my ass on fire. Just <laughs> slightly ask it. Just... You good? Uh, I dropped. I dropped the proof. Produce flame, so it's should be darkness. All of you allow the darkness of this canopy to engulf you, and as you make your way eastwards that darkness grows heavier and heavier and then the smell hits you first shall we the smell of rot and decay do not like do not like you hear the buzzing of flies oh some sky <laughs> as you all look up towards this sensation your dark vision allows you to see although you usually prefer that it didn't that these spaces of sunlight between the canopy have been meticulously and deliberately filled in with the corpses of small animals. Oh, did we? Surrounding no. the forest nope. in oh, this no. intense nope. darkness, which for all of you nope. is low light. You said what is stuffed with the bodies of animals? I... Small it's... animals, the trees, the trees got small animal bodies, just like. Places where sunlight could peek through the leaves has been sort of like almost like blackout curtains have been just very meticulously like balanced and tied in and from, draped from, from, across from, the from raccoons and squirrels and chipmunks and so you we see got, a few deer in there as well this we got, wow for us we got animals that goes substrate. way beyond small animals that goes way beyond small animals Apollo can see normally by the way <laughs> oh yeah is animal, it um, animal curve? I have dark vision up to 60 feet so you all see this. It's low light for you all, so disadvantage on perception checks and things like that. But that also means that anything that's trying to find you has disadvantage on perception checks. What could have done this? I, I, you know what? You know what? Quite frankly, I don't even care. Can I just want to go on by. Want to go yeah, on by. This, mm -mm. this like a... This is this is not my business. This ain't my business. I'm going to just like a, keep my peace. Is this like a clearing? Like, are we like an open space? Is this like a... 
so far, you guys are just, this is just happening as you guys are making your way east, just in this very dense forest. Oh, God. Paul's going to be looking around, his head on swivel, looking as far as his eyes let him, which is about 120 feet. All right. Mm. Roll me a perception check, Apollo. All righty. Is there any kind of sound around us in the forest as we move, or is it still in dead? Roll me a perception check. Can I also roll one? Mm-hmm. Anytime the DM says roll me a check, I get nervous. Perception. Perception. Okay, not yeah. bad. Chowie's hacking. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hacking. Uh, okay. God damn. Um <laughs> I swear to God, like I'm not. No, this way. ladder roll through Ain't roll no twenty. Way. Ain't no F. way. I roll twenty. You love me today. So you know, the, the actual statistics of rolling like two not twenties in a row is crazy. That's crazy. So look, weird. okay, look, we are not going to talk about this because if I can't we talk wait for it to be it, in combat and y'all just roll happening. all that once. Yeah. It's so great. It's exactly. so wonderful. That's my so Why so are you wishing that on us? You're saving mine. Because <laughs> I, I had this whole campaign planned out. If y'all nat 20 your way to victory throughout the whole thing, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> and will. Crits, and crits, will. Crits, crits. Don't worry. I'm, I'm saving mine. I'm saving mine. Not on it. Knock on okay. it because so, what? So, <laughs> Howie, you are listening out, me? and you hear coming from several directions, uh, various oh, rustling of uh, leaves, and with a nat twenty, you discern the ruffling of leaves and the ruffling of feathers. And as you point this out to your party, Apollo, your dark vision extends out further than most people. You can see. Owls, all almost as casually and whimsically as hanging laundry out to dry, just quietly ripping apart forest creatures with their talons and filling in the spaces of sunlight that make up this forest. Nope, nope. Can we oh, all yeah, ex- can can we all increase our walking yeah, speed Apollo's right now? Apollo's gonna like because, let everyone um, know. <laughs> No. Like, oh, hold on, hold on. So, the owls is the owls are making like a canopy nest with animal parts. Yes. Well, I mean, yes. Owls are huh? that, nocturnal creatures. Happening. It would be how many? Yep. Yeah, it don't it don't matter. Since there are it, quite it, a few. It really, it really actually. don't matter. But uh-uh. I, yeah, let's keep it moving. I believe that let's, would be the let's... best course of action. Yes, let us proceed forward. It, yeah. Increase our rate speed. Expeditiously advance towards the front. We gotta go. You continue these words, following the broken branches, the broken leaves. This creature, whatever it is, has tore a path of destruction through this forest. And the further east you go, the more owls you see filling in the spaces of sunlight that it created with its flight. Do not approve. I do not like any of this. As you continue eastwards, it becomes easier and easier to follow this creature's path as just a steady overhang of owls and corpses and rot seems to guide your path. Until eventually, you come across a clearing that, as you approach closer, seems to drop off into a cliff. Uh, How close are we to the edge of it? Mm -hmm. How many feet? I would say you're about 50 feet from the edge of it, give or take. Um, You can see a little ways down the cliff, almost perched on the wall, there's some kind of branch or something. You can't really see it from this angle, though. Uh, I think Kyrene would... It, it's something on the branch? 
it's kind of hard to see from this angle. Um, you know that whatever it is, it's poking out really, really far if you can see it from here over the cliff. Mm. If we mm. all collectively want to GTFO, um, I can potentially cast Featherfall, which allows a creature within 60 feet of me to fall in a way that if it's a 60 foot or so fall, they take no falling damage and can land on their feet. Is that one person? <clears throat> that it is up to five, I think. Hold up. Oh, perfect. Uh, Kyrene, wait, are you explaining this though? So, like, are you saying this out loud? Like, if, if yes, we yes, I'm totally saying this out loud. I'm double checking. Mm -hmm. Yes, cool. Kyrene will go over to the creatures. The branch. So basically, if y'all jump, I can cast, and we can basically all float our asses down. What the hell? So the he said the we're like fifty feet away from the cliff, right? Yes. Right. So we need to get right up to the cliff. And does it look like just a straight path to the edge of the cliff? Does it is it a way to do like a check for any like traps or anything or you can roll perception or investigation if you're kind of tossing by the area? Um, I like the idea of oh, some man. of us rolling percept and some rolling investigation to see if yeah. there's like something that's gonna go nom. Well, that wasn't great. Ten, so. Oh, all right, so. And eleven, let's go. Do 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 do. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Nature. That's a. That could be a good roll. Yeah. Are you looking for it's natural trend? Trend? We're looking for Ooh, well, traps honestly, based Kyrene in nature. Honestly, isn't looking for a trap. They're looking to see what's going on with this branch and if something goes on. Yeah. Uh, roll me a nature check. Yeah, I need to stick to nature. Hello? Thirteen. Hmm? Yeah, we can hear you. There we go. All yeah, right. a, a beautiful, uh, huge thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second, y'all. I, I wish your face you went. Wish your face you. All right. With a thirteen, um, something about the branches that kind of hang off this cliff reminds you of a nest but the proportions oh, yeah. are off since for you to be able to see the nest poking out from 50 feet away from this cliff the nest would have to be massive so is it safe I to say that we do not like Is it safe to say that Kyrene puts together that the birds they saw in the forest, these are their babies? Kyrene could certainly put that together if you want to put that together. Kyrene says that to the group that that's what they think. So to how the birds back there we saw the babies? Is that what you're saying? This could, this could be their nest. Mm. This could be their nest. That's, that's what I'm kind of smelling. Those were smaller birds. Um, I don't think that smaller birds would use such a big nest. I think that might were, be the I, nest I, of the I creature got... that we are looking for. Were those owls small or were they like... Really, really high up. Were they big? And really, really high up. I think they appeared to be just normal owls. As if, yeah, as as if they were under the control of something bigger. Uh... Hmm. So the question is, what do we do now? Do we want to lean into this, given the reason why we're here, or do we want to... Let me take you all to a semblance of a map, mm. so you can position yourselves where you'd like to be. This is not my map, this is courtesy of the Mad Cartographer, Free Maps. 
very lovely. But this is the general structure of the cliff, and then in this direction is the drop. You can see the branch around here. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> well, go over and have a look. Yeah. I'll watch it. Yeah. The branch that you see poking out is here. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Can we see a way to get to that safely? You can get close to the glyph of a massacre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been pretty terrible at that, so... <laughs> Well, if you guys aren't going to do it, I suppose I will. And Apollo's I... going to get closer to the cliff. Alrighty. Not and follow. I am going Not to follow. follow Apollo and get a little closer to the cliff. He's got good eyes. He should be able to see. Yeah. As you guys peer over this cliff, you see what amounts to a massive bird's nest. Nope, 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 nope. And Charlie rapidly backs away and oh, I'm not is going. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. not done. <laughs> you see about 20 feet down this cliff, barely fitting into this bird nest that has to be maybe 25 feet in diameter is a massive, monstrous owl. Nope. Nope. It nope. Is nope. 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 All of them. Sitting with eyes closed, breath even, and appears to be, for the most part, similar to giant owls that uh, you've seen in basic stories. Except that from about the collarbone down, there is no flesh, no feathers, no bone. And this entire owl appears to have been hollowed out and in its torso, where it should be, is a glistening metallic silver bird cage um so how much can we cuss in this game because you can cuss as much as you like but Shall I'm not is currently and fully on a nope 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 fuck no nope, nope uh uh-uh. uh this unacceptable un unfucking acceptable no sir no ma'am no, no, they be nope. Can you describe the can you describe the part about the cage again? Um so essentially embedded into this giant bird's torso, there is a silver bird cage. And resting within it, you see a woman. Alright. Uh, nope. About nope. college age. They have removed their cloak and have sort of gathered it under them and are kind of like lying on it and sitting down, uh, breathing a bit panicked. And as this cloak is making contact with the sort of metal floor of this birdcage, you can hear like hissing and sizzling as something burns and just a little bit of steam rises from this cage. And so who just massages his eyes and says, what the hell am I doing here? You can learn we... just like the rest of us. What is this? And Chubby is looking at this like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, no, absolutely no. All right. The nope. Chubby looks at everybody. We obviously have to help this person. 
Apollo's already yeah. Obviously, yeah, ob yeah, obviously, like, I don't understand what the... Yeah, He's you're right, I know, but still. Apollo's already <laughs> readying an arrow or two. Yeah, I think yeah. uh, Kyrene is readying a spell. Anyone got blood? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously? Seriously? I, um... Okay. Uh, wait. Can Kyrene check to see like if they hurt this owl with it? Would that hurt the person inside of the birdcage? Roll me. I'll say either a nature, medicine, or perception check. All right. That's that nature. So let's see. Um. Can. Jesus. Okay, so apparently the rest of the party is very invested in rescuing this person, even though they do not realize what kind of association this person might have with the bird. Um, can shall we run and uh shit? Okay, yes. Can shall we run an arcana check? to see what kind of binding there might be between this bird and this human and whether the bird is actually a bird or is a human or if the human is actually a human or a bird. Sure, roll an arcana check for bird, human, human, bird, bird, <laughs> human. For, for. Chawi, you're looking at this thing. You don't know what the fuck is God this. Um, damn it. The word of the day is bird. Bird, 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 Chauku. bird. So, Ch Chauku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you are making your way around this cliff, uh, what are you reading? You said. So here's what I'm here's what I'm going to suggest to the group real quick. So, I I do this thing where I can summon the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And I can summon it. Right next to the captive student. Oh, you know. How far can I can you tell how far I am away from the student? Uh you are Ooh. Say around again, fifty feet. Nice. Uh, fifty feet. Closer. Yeah, it might be too far. Um, DM, what did I get on that nineteen nature check to see if hurting this bird will hurt the captive? Um looking there, there are wounds um, on this person, and there are wounds on the bird. You reckon that there's some kind of connection there? These sort of acidic um, markings on their arms. Can I cast message to this person? Yeah. Uh, I want to cast message and say... Hmm. How did you get in here? You say that, and this kind of looks around wildly. You see these uh, large framed spectacles, uh, and they make eye contact with you, Shaoku. Um, and they'll kind of like very, very panically and hastily sort of like step forward uh, as their feet, their shoes kind of make contact with the metal floor of this cage. You hear this like sizzling. Uh, they wince a bit, but they uh, ignore it as they kind of like walk up against the bars. And since everyone else will fucking stupid for stealth, they only see you, Shouku. And... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So, they're Whoops. speaking right. directly to you. What, what what are you doing here? Like what, right? Are you are you okay? Or do you want to be here? Well, I got the fucking hex letter, so I guess so. Did you consent to yeah. this? Like, well, I got the fucking acceptance letter, and I'm trying to. It's the monster hunt, right? Yeah. So you yeah, got are you, are you are you Hillary? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm Hillary too. Were you on a? Is there a monster? Is there a lock on that cage? Uh, you do see a lock. <laughs> 
I'd like to. Are you a monster? Okay, I have a plan. So if I if I if I get if I get closer, like to here, is this too close? Am I off the ledge? Do I have to be here? You are. I would say you're not off the ledge, but you're kind of like just just on the uh, just on the edge there. And then how do I how do I find out how far this is? Uh, um, there's the ruler tool. Um, ah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, but, but, but wait, 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 wait. Is she a monster or is she a student? <laughs> Insider, real quick. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Is, is, that's is a good she one. a monster or is she a student? Because I would assume that most monsters probably have skills that they can make themselves look kind of different. So, um, it's a so mimic hell, human I, human. I got a plus four in insight. Should I? I just, oh, motherfucker. Well, I don't know shit. I, I absolutely nothing. Can I try inside too? Sure, go for it. These damn thirteens, man. <laughs> you could be both. Man, cause I'm 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 sorry, y'all. This seems sus. As as this seems really sus. Best Wait, you can I? tell, this person seems. Uh, Chaba, you don't know how to read this person. Um, they seem scared, but you know, um, Shaohu, you with a thirteen inside can tell that they are terrified but trying to seem like brave-ish as you ask them uh, are you a student it's like well i'm they ask them about the monster i'm like i'm, I'm working on capturing this monster all right i'm, I'm pretty deep undercover right I, uh -huh. I guess uh -huh. i'm sorry but you don't i don't like... watch your wire actually apollo's not saying anything so you're on the job like you 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 think you have this under control like you don't need us for anything <laughs> she will she will look at you <laughs> i am willing to split the reward or the i guess grade on this hmm. that sounds good to me I, I would not be reminisced to receive assistance so you want to stay in the cage or would you like to get out of the cage i would i would like to get out of the cage if you if you could Okay, so DM, the, the, the branch that this thing is on, does it look sturdy enough to stand on? It appears so. If it's holding this thing's weight, it seems like a pretty sturdy fucking branch. God yeah. damn it. Okay, so, so, here, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm, can I'm we... probably the best at picking locks because I'm right, literally me just going to say, like, hear... can we check out the lock on this thing? Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. So uh -huh. if I can, I'm in range now, or I can, I can spawn my wildfire spirit right next to her in a cage, and then command it to teleport her out 15 feet. Bet, bet. That's and then I, 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 I'm loving this. I, I am loving this. This sounds How does amazing. that work? Is it like at the end of a turn it'll teleport, or like how does it work? So I take a I take an action to cast it, and then are you uh, communicating this with um, the group? Uh, yeah. If that's... She's like, it, this thing will wake up. This thing will wake up. It, it, oh, it oh, 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 oh! Can I can I whisper it? Or if or you, can I can I just do it? I mean, we're all close enough. If you tell so, yeah. a flaming creature inside this thing's stomach, it'll wake up, and I kind of really want to get. So let me ask you this before we do anything else. Are we supposed to kill this thing or are we just supposed to capture it? He said monster hunt. It is hunt. a monster hunt. So do, do you intend oh. do you intend to kill it? Because if, if it wakes up, we gotta kill it anyway. What do you plan on doing now with its sleep? Are you trying to kill it now? Like what are you doing? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you a secret? Oh uh, yeah. I I didn't plan on being in this thing's cage stomach. <laughs> so what is your plan to get away without killing this thing? Or do you realize we're going to have to fight this thing? Period. Hey, guy, I you could to... maybe pick the lock um, and I can step out. I hate to rush you, of... but I think it's going to wake up soon. I think we should, we should try to pick the lock. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Worst case scenario, not me. wakes up anyways. Kyrene steps back. Yeah, I would I would yeah. rather not be, I would rather nobody yeah. be next to the cage when it wakes up, but okay. 
I mean, but if anybody's gonna try to pick the lock, lock. it sounds like What's you're the best person to pick the lock. It's Charlie. probably gonna be. And you have feather fall, so I have feather fall. And well, let me uh, go ahead on and. and back my ass on up off the way i mean back the fuck up but they can i say that they ready in action so far if this thing wakes up they will hit it with a spell yeah cool. what spell you ready i'm done ready I'm just fully at this point uh, letting y'all know that i collectively do not trust this shit um, I feel like this is a trap. Z I mean, trap. If you um, don't, you do, I can teleport her out. The thing might wake up, but it's probably gonna wake up anyway. Careful. I, I just what do you want to do? My 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 concern is that my concern isn't that the thing is going. Oh, not to rush you, but I can kind of shit. smell my feet flush right now, and like there's like the sizzling. <laughs> as her my boots concern are like melting is in the, the thing that is. It, my concern isn't that the thing is going to wake up. My concern is that the thing is the thing that we're talking to. What the fuck do I need to roll to see if I can unpick this lock? This would be a Thieves Tools check. Um, okay, so here is a point where I'm completely unfamiliar with DV roll 20. It should be, I believe, so, lower right corner. Lower mm -hmm. right corner. Yeah, you'll see tool proficiencies, proficiencies and custom skills. Yeah. You click on thieves tools, and it'll ask what you want to roll it with, and you can just put deck. Okay, because I see okay. thieves tools, and then a question mark. And yep, then, so I click on that um, question mark. Okay. And, and I um, dexterity. I cast uh, not... magic stone it's... just to get it ready. All right. It's not letting me do anything. Hmm. Like I'm clicking on thieves tools and the question mark and the query. And the little gear, and it's well, that's not letting me do anything. Let me yeah, try. I the same thing for my tan flute, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can't fix that. Try now. Okay. Uh, cancel. I don't know what this is. Cancel. 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 Ah. Okay. Let's go back to... And these tools are ah, there. I see, and it's Dex, and that way. Nice. Mm. Yeah, correct. Okay. All right. As you place your these tools uh, into this magical lock, you ignore what I'm doing. I'm I trying to clear this ignore. little. Yes, no problem there. Zero thing problem. Thing that's on yep, the no screen. Problem there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's it's working. Wow, you're it's working. Getting, you're wow. definitely getting these rolls. You're getting go. through okay. the lock. <laughs> <laughs> dismantling, dismantling the whole thing. Exactly. You have to be incredibly quick and incredibly careful when making contact with this lock, since the entirety of the silver metal seems to be completely acidic. Um, and you can feel your lockpicks start to melt. Luckily, as you, you're used to picking locks, shall we? Mm. Um, and so with your expertise and finesse, I suppose, you manage to get a final satisfying clutch of a lock coming undone and a cage swinging open. As as, right. Okay, thank you. And she That's starts lovely. to step forward. Move my as you back. do that, move, move, move sure. my uh, Chow, completely disengage. Yeah, shall we? As you start to move back from the cage, um, could you please roll me either athletics or acrobatics as <laughs> the student attempts to grab your wrist? No, athletics <gasps> or that bitch. right? I look, I had sus. I had right. sus. You right. called it. Acrobatics. Oh, motherfucker. You got it. You got it. You got this. Acrobatics. All right. They're going to roll athletics. For some reason, I just thought the owl's eyes just opened just now. 
I looked too fast on my screen. I was like, wait, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> they all wait, wait, opened wait, wait, and looked wait, at no, us no, no, like, no. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Hey, buddy, you wanna you wanna get back in that cage for me? Yeah. You thanks. are fast, and with an even faster, inhumanly fast reflexes. Uh, mm. This woman just grabs your wrist and grapples you and holds you in place as she's kind of regarding you with these uh, very large round spectacles and says, "Monster hunt, right?" It's always the amateurs that assume that means that they'll be hunting the monsters. Uh, and I'd like everyone to roll in this shit. Okay. Mother! Right. Can I... Uh, I should have... I knew I should have... Ooh. Ooh, I knew I should have uh, a special arrow for this. Damn it. God damn it. God Ooh, damn it. Pretty decent. God damn it. Thing up? Uh, there we go. It was a trap! I know it was a trap. I know it was a trap. It was a trap. Anytime there's a cute girl in a cage, it's a trap. Just FYI. <laughs> I believe it. Cute girl in a cage. What the shit? trap. What the trap? Oh, oh Shaku, can you teleport? Shall we out of her? Out of there? Oh, now you Seriously. want me to teleport? Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean bro. <laughs> like, um. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as my turn, I'll, I'll move up and, and get her Ooh, out of there. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, that's Chowie. I'm, I'm Chowie. I can do shit, um, because oh. I need to be as far away from my good sis as possible, expediently as possible. So we have Apollo, and then Kyrene. Captive student, captive student, my ass. <laughs> oh shit, I'm last in. Oh man, I right. just sit back. Everything's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Already, mm -hmm. this massive owl begins to stir. Um, Apollo, it's your turn. All right, so I'm gonna take out one of my curved arrows and yep. I'm gonna shoot it at the captive student. Alrighty. Alrighty. Roll to hit. Combo. Go. 19 plus 2 to hit. That's... Yeah, 21 will hit. Yeah. One. That's pierce, uh, 12 piercing. 12 uh, piercing? Yeah, I should have. Should have you turned on sharpshooter, but I don't want to kill her outright. Why not? She's a Hiller student too. Listen, I don't know uh, what you're doing. As you strike this student, um, this owl howls in agony. The owl seems howls? to take. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's a student. She's somebody, bro. Alrighty. What else would like to do in your turn, Apollo? Okay, and then on, uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Hex on her. And I don't actually have a macro for it, so I'm going to actually... That's all right. Uh, for... They are Hex. For the stat, I'm going to do... What is she grappling with... Uh, grappling Chawi with? Uh, it's athletics. All right, I'm gonna give her disadvantage on athletics. Beautiful. So disadvantage on Thank all strength you. checks from here on out. Oh my god, I appreciate it. And what does it look like as you are casting this but... magic? Uh, so Apollo's ring glows brightly again, and there's like the sound of. Well, actually, you know, <laughs> there's actually no sound. Um, his ring glows, and the there's kind of like stardust emanating from where the arrow just uh, struck them. It wraps around Alrighty. them and it's kind of like um, kind of like binding them as if almost to restrict their movements, but not quite because it is just dust. Yeah. And as this arrow kind of impacts the student's shoulder, uh, they will just look at you with this soul piercing glare and Kyrene, it is your turn. 
Uh, Kyrene is gonna go ahead and cast Firebolt on the on the on the owl. Alrighty, roll ahead. Oh wow! Twenty-two uh, to hit one day. <laughs> that'll that'll absolutely hit. You go, you go, and uh... <laughs> yeah, slow whiff. Scorch the edge of this owl's feathers as it screeches once again in pain. Yeah, and then I'll move just right here. Alrighty. It is now the turn of the Kappa student. Shall we? Mm -hmm. They are at half movement as they pull you deeper into this cage. Um... You see the door slam close behind you. Um, and, and they just give you this smile as they're going to strike at you once as razor sharp talons kind of grow from their fingers. And what is your AC? Motherfucker 15. Yeah, it's going to be a nine. So, um, Chow, you are fast, not fast enough to avoid the grapple, but absolutely fast enough to avoid the secondary attack as this student sort of wrenches you into this cage and tries to swipe directly at your face. You duck your head back and you feel the air just kind of like uh, pass from this claw strike as you are engaged in melee with this strange student. The owl is going to... <laughs> Fly hither. Oh, fuck this owl. Actually, seriously, take this bitch out. Take, 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 um, or you shot the student, and so it's going to bear down on you with its beak, and I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Should be, in theory, good at these, right? Yeah, you got this. You got this. <laughs> you got it. Oh, yeah. Weave. You take four points of piercing damage. Apollo, as you see this thing try and just swallow you whole, and um, you manage to dive out of the way at the very last second, but you are grazed by its beak. Okay. Uh, oh, next oh. is going to be Claw Strike against Kyrene, who threw a fire at it. Uh, Kyrene, what is your ace? Um, I cast Mage Armor, so that's 13 plus my dex modifier. Right now it's 14. 14. That is going to hit you for <sighs> Okay, um thirteen points of damage. Oh. Wait, as my reaction, can I make them re roll that with silvery barbs? Absolutely you can. Nice. That's good. Give me that advantage on that deck save, though. Nice. And that is a four on the dice, so you're, like, yeah, flashing before you. your eyes as you see you are naturally attuned with nature and all things wild, and so you know exactly, even though this owl is not of nature, it is based in nature, and so you predict its movements entirely as it careens off to the right and this massive plume of dust and dirt just kind of explodes directly next to you. Um, you are unscathed. It's fine. It is still wonderful. Um, I'm gonna give my... I'm gonna give... 
I'm gonna give uh, Chawi advantage on uh, her next attack roll. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Or ability check or saving throw. Yeah. Look, yeah, it. that's how that Look, works. No worries. Point. Alrighty. This, 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 this. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Shauku. Okay, so if I if I back away, he gets a opportunity attack, right? Yes. And um, Chawi, you want to get away from this thing, right? Uh, yes, please. All right. <laughs> so I'll cast okay, the uh, nice. I'll cast the uh, spirit, wildfire spirit, and then what does your spire spirit look like? <clears throat> It just kind of looks like a a Spider mix fear. between like a, a shut up <laughs> like a like a miniature phoenix kind of ambiguous you can't really tell but it's just flying but it's just fiery smoldering. All right. So I, I cast I cast that. Uh, could it get through the cage? I would say. What is its like size? I would say yeah, it could probably fit through those bars. Um, I think it's supposed to be a small. Uh, yeah, I'll say absolutely, it could fit through those bars. So I'll, I'll command it. I'll, I'll cast it. I'll have his movement get close to Chawi, and then for the bonus action, I'll have it do the fiery teleport to get her fifteen feet towards me. Alrighty, fifteen feet towards. Oh. So that'll put you there. as in a plume of fiery smoke. Um, shall you and, no longer being gripped? And I believe whoever was left where it teleported from has to do a. Uh, hold on. Uh, each creature within five feet of the space the spirit left must succeed on a dex throw. DC 12 or take 1d6 plus 2 damage. Fire damage. Alrighty. I'm going to roll that. Re- okay, so the captive student fails, and I'm going to make a DM ruling to say that the owl cannot dex its way out of an explosion and inside of its own belly, <laughs> so I'll say that fails as well. So go ahead and roll that. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds legit. Let's see, let's see. Um... One more. Alrighty, one more. Oh, one more? Yep, 2d6, right? Right, yeah, you're right. Alright. So that's a seven, that's nine. And Nine all, points of fire. And that's all I can do on this turn. Well, actually, oh yeah, that's all I can do. Alrighty. Next up. Chawi. Uh, you are no longer inside of this weird owl stomach with that weird... St- I am very, very thankful for that. And Shauku, I will say that as the student takes the fire damage, you see the owl uh, start to twitch as well and take a bit more fire damage that is I... natural for having an explode. I need um Would we consider the student's mouth an open container? For what purpose? <laughs> Nervous <laughs> laughter? <laughs> I can't wait to hear. Um, because I want to ask the fellow folks that I have around me if they have anything interesting they would like to put inside of an open container. Uh, I will say that the... I'll say that the creature's stomach, this birdcage, would count as an open container so you can teleport something in there. 
but not Excellent. a person's mouth. I think this might still work. Okay. So, y'all, I have the ability to cast Mage Hand, which means that I can cast a hand which can go within 30 feet and put something inside of a open container. Does anyone have anything interesting they might want to give me that they might want to put inside of a <clears throat> open container? Well, I so... didn't end up getting the alchemy jug, so no. Damn. Oh, oh the mayo. We had plans, bro. We had plans. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't get any encouragement. Y'all really didn't <laughs> no, feel like I was you were with it. I was so with it. We should have got the mail. Oh my God. And, and, and you know, so like, if it comes right down to it, I currently have a uh, hundred ball bearings in my bag. I feel <laughs> like that might upset somebody's stomach. It's okay. Just. I don't have anything. I mean, yeah, no. No. Okay. If yeah, just no do what you're has... gonna do. See what happens. I bet. So I am going to do mage hands. All right. And give me a second. Wait, hold I on. I have caltrops. I have caltrops. I have caltrops. Oh my god! Okay. Yes. I had to check my inventory. Mm -hmm. I have caltrops. Yes. Yeah. Use that mage hand and slap it like a bitch. Fucking god. Exactly. So we're gonna use the awful. mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> to slap like however many caltrops the maid chain can carry, which let me go back and look at the maid chain and double check. We gotta add um, um, maid chain. The caltrops weigh four pounds. A, point, a spectrum floating hand. The hand. Do, do, the the hand right? vanishes thirty feet. The hand. Wait, where is it at? Because it tells me how many pounds. Believe 20 pounds. Yeah. 20 pounds. All right. You can absolutely. So, 20 pounds worth of caltrops. And I am a rogue. So I have 30 feet of distance so I can get close enough. And then as a bonus action, I have dash and or disengage, which means that I can go in close enough to do this. And then, oh, bitch, yeah. <laughs> I can go close enough to do this. Alrighty, so yep. what are you doing? So I am oh, taking pounds? the ca- 10 pounds. Taking the, yep, taking the caltrops. I am then moving within 30 feet of the creepy owl creature who is a uh, circle here ish. And then the owl creature running... is over here now. You roll 20, might not have updated yet. The owl creature is over where? Oh, behind the rest of us. Here. Oh shit! Oh shit! That giant bit. Okay, so I don't even need to move. Okay, no. No. that. Nope, I could stay right here. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use Mage Hand to drop however many cow traps possible directly inside of the owl creature. Absolutely, yeah. And, and then um, I don't, I actually don't even need to move because if I move, I would have to do um, disengage so that it wouldn't be an opportunity attack. But no, because it moved right there, I can just drop a whole bunch of caltrops inside of it using my mage hand. Go for it. And yeah, you I with this mage hand just force this bag of caltrops into this birdcage and burst it. They go scattering everywhere on the floor of it and you see the captive student just kind of like begin to shuffle uh, very, very uncomfortably and like hold like perfectly and completely still in this uh, in this environment. And that's, that's your turn. 
for and 20 it's absolutely count drops. Because I'm, I, I feel like I could have done something else, but I'm gonna go with that. I'm, I'm just gonna, yep, I'm gonna leave it there for right now. Uh, how much damage do caltrops do? They do one point each. That were that was a bag of twenty. So cool, 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 cool. Awesome. That's a that. Uh... Oh my god, they can't. These I fucking love all, Mage all these caltrops. Is there a deck save involved? I mean, there's uh, no deck save because no. inside. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, yeah inside. I DC think 15. there's a DC 10. DC 15. Or, okay. I'll okay. say, yeah, I'll say it takes 20 points of damage. <laughs> nice. I'll say it rolls a con save to see if you can take half that. I'm not mad at the humble 20. Not at all. Humble 20. Yeah, no. Is Al begins like. Owls are known for coughing up the bones of their victims, so it starts making like that motion. Uh -oh. I mean, but Wait, hold you know, on. bones <laughs> versus metal is like oh, potato that's true. versus potato. Like, I mean, I can chew down a chicken bone, but I can't chew down the jack. I'm just saying. Apollo, mm -hmm. it's your turn. All right. This. So okay. So actually, going to turn on my sharpshooter. And... Oh shit. And do you have any fire magic? Can you heat those caltrops up? No, sadly. Mm, okay. Here we go. That would have been fire. Literally and figuratively. Oof. I rolled an at one. Okay. You did oh. indeed. And so you aim this bow uh, towards this thing and your bowstring snaps. Uh, you have to spend the rest of your turn just kind of restringing it, making sure everything's uh, up and right. Would you like to do anything with your movement, bonus action, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm. Am I? It was in range last turn to hit me. So would I still be in yeah. range if I moved? Um, it is it in range. Not really range, now. but it would also You could get be an attack opportunity, opportunity attack. if you move. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're gonna. We're just gonna try and TTFO 10, 15, 20. Mm, no, I would say, I would honestly say don't move because. Don't, you don't move, do it. I, it I got can, you. It can give you an opportunity attack. So I basically, you're moving. Even if it hit me, gives... I, I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I believe in me. <laughs> All right. I believe All in right. you too. I'm Deborah. 15. I need to All cover right. me. I need to restring my weapon. Okay, my turn. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, 18 to hit. That just hits. Ooh, okay. Right. You are going to take eight points of slashing damage. From this thing's massive claws, it just kind of like rakes across the very edge of your back. That's Kyrene. Gotta hurt. Um, bum bum bum. Kyrene tries again, or Kyrene is actually uh gonna cast Wither and Bloom. What the fuck the does owl. that do? Mm, okay. Right. I see what you're that sounds doing. Interesting. See what you're doing. Is Kyrene a wild magic sorcerer by any chance? Kyrene is a wild magic sorcerer. Oh, ding, no. ding, ding. I'm glad I moved. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, Kyrene is a wild magic sorcerer DM. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So roll me 2d20s from the spell you cast last turn. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> this could be so much fun. It Fun. I, I think that's the wrong F word that you came up with, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure okay. that's the wrong F word. <laughs> okay. Uh, so no wild magic surge yet, because you rolled a five and a three, but next time if you roll a three or oof. three or lower. Oof. Fingers breaks. crossed. Um so yeah, DC fifteen for that con save. Oh sure, yeah. No, this this'll be And I'll post the description of Mother and Bloom in uh roll twenty. Beautiful. That's a 14 to save. 
15. Uh, 15. All right, so that's full effect. Nice. Uh, yeah, so they take 8 damage. And... Is Chawi... No, uh, and you're not near it. Um, is Chawi missing health? Nope, I don't, I haven't been hit yet. Nope, okay, cool. Um, uh, that sucks. So as you I cast can... this withering bloom, you know for a fact the student starts to like fall and wither and reaching out from like the ceiling of the cage, you see this red sinewy, sinewy muscle mass start to like reach out and hold the student up like puppet strings and seems to pulse vitality back in them from the body of this massive owl as it seems to take the damage for the student. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I said I aimed it at the owl. So would it still be... It's a, it's a, I mean, it's just yeah, a it's radius, a, so okay. Yeah, it's a 10 foot radius, so it hits them both. So the owl's taking it's, massive damage from this thing. Got yeah. you. Um, and I wouldn't be allowed to give some hit points back to Apollo, would I? What is the radius on the Wither and Bloom? Uh, ba bum bum Sorry, let me scroll up. The radius is 60 feet. It's a sphere of 10 feet. Oh, sphere of 10 feet. So let's see. Ear, maybe? Nah, Paul's not. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately. It's okay. okay. You can give some hit points back to the student if you want. No, thanks. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> nah, or, or actually, <laughs> can I just, like, so it's, so... This student is definitely like a part of this owl from what I just saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh whatever Kyrie would think. Can I roll? The something milk is to not clean. Sure? The milk is roll not clean. Insight check or a nature check or a medicine check. The milk or a is not check. clean. Unpasteurized. Okay, I'll do the <laughs> <laughs> It's not clean. Mm. Saying. Right. That was for my survival. Um, yeah, this this student does not seem very studenty. Uh, mm -hmm. You reckon mm -hmm. they're part of some kind of larger creature? Okay, got it. I I think still seeing like a person in there and seeing them hurt, I mean, is kind of jarred by it. They 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 hate they hate having to do this. Um, but it is what it However, is. comma. Right, Damn. however, comma, it is what it is. And <laughs> it is going to try to move back. Alrighty, it already hit Glad Apollo with his attack of opportunity, so, yeah. You kind of okay. slide down uh, halfway through the cliff to this uh, lower reach. Next yeah, up, we have. Yo, the Let's Dean see. is nuts. The Dean made this thing? Alright. We already knew Maybe he considers nuts, it his daughter. Dean may be a little sadistic. A little Let's bit. see. A little? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shaoku. Uh, the student's just kind of gonna walk up to you on the edge of the birdcage and say, you took my toy. And they're gonna oh, reach to the bars with these massive talons. And what's your... Uh, my AC is, uh, 16. S and 18 to hit, so you're going to take a little bit of Alright. Four points of slashing damage. I'll take that. And as this massive owl kind of bears down on you uh, with its beak, I take your roll dexterity saving throw, please. Alright, let's see. Dex, dex, dex. A little better, 18. That is absolutely enough to pass as you a meager one point of piercing damage as the beat kind of grazes the edge of your uh, body as this thing tries to swallow you. Chawi, what's your AC as a massive talon breaks out towards you? So my AC is 15, but I'm also a rogue 
Ooh, and you wait. also have advantage on the next attack ability check or saving throw. Exactly. So, um, my AC currently is 15. However, I am going to preemptively. I can't see how to use this on D and D on roll twenty, but I I played rogue enough. I am going to initially use my bonus action to disengage. Disengage. Uh, you can do that on your, your turn, turn, which it is not. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a reaction, isn't it? No, this is okay, just okay. just its turn. Um, so that's a seventeen to hit. Which will hit you just a little bit. That totally hits. It just hits. a little bit. Ouch. All right, you're gonna take a little bit of damage. Ouch. Just a little, a little bit. I'm gonna hit. You're gonna take nine points of damage. It's fine. You're fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah. Totally fine. Yeah. But we got stuff for that. I have a saddle for that. Yeah, you got a mm. you got a saddle. You got a saddle. For I definitely got like some herbal tea, like truly. We got you, it's fine. I don't even know how to do this. Is this how I'm doing this right? Nope. Right. Maybe. And that is its turn. No. Oh, praise God. Choke. Okay. Uh, so, first, uh, Chawi, how's your health looking? Can we ask that? Is that okay to ask? Um, you can I, ask. I, I, I mean, I, I, I can use the boost. I basically got knocked half, half, half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So for my action, then I will do uh, cure wounds. Bless you. All right. Let's and that begin. should be uh, 2d4 plus 2. Uh, Kirwin should be 1d8 plus wisdom modifier. I was about to say, how you got yours to 2d4? Right? <laughs> I was about to say, what? Wait, wait, what? what? Mine what? is what? at 1d8. Oh, you know what? I, I was looking at the level 2, but I do want to do it at level 1. Uh, the one, right. 1d, 1d8 plus 2. So, uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. All right, so that's four hit points. Every bit. Every bit is appreciated. Every bit helps. Every bit Uh is appreciated. And then what I would like to do is, um, for my bonus action, I'll have my spirit uh, get within five feet of me, and I will have it fire teleport me to fuck up out of here away from this thing. <laughs> right? Period. Right, where are you going? Deuces. Um, Audi. 15 feet would be... I'll go here. Alright. Yeah. He'll get you the fuck out. And you know what? If if uh, Chawi wants to teleport too, if she's in with uh, 5 feet, it'll take her too. Bet. Okay. Sweet, yes. Much At least get me out of range. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. All right. Next up, we got Chawi. Mm-hmm. So, just you know, I am a vengeful bitch. So let's see if my short bow can do anything. All right, roll I, mean, short I, could, I, I could cast cure wounds on myself, but eh, eh. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. All right, cure bow. What that do? That will hit. Yes, it's a very big target. Hard to miss. Nice. All right, and then I will cast damage. Oh shit! Do I get sneak attack? I don't think I do. No oh, steady aim. Oh wait, no. You, do you get sneak yeah. attack with a bow? If oh, uh, you, know, you can I'm... get sneak attack on the bow, but one of yeah. us would need to be within five feet of yeah. The monster. One of you would need yep. to be within five feet. So um, ah, that's yeah, just right. click on the word short bow in chat, and you can roll damage. Okay, just click on the word short bow in chat and roll damage. Yep. Damn, nice. Yeah. 
as it once again howls and screeches mm-hmm. and seems to be panicking uh, a little bit as both the creature and the student are kind of looking around wildly. Yep, there we go. God damn it. And I, with my short bow, I can't do double attacks. I can only do that with my dagger, I think. Um, bonus actions. Hold up. Uh, see, this is where D&D Beyond comes in handy because it's clear reactions, opportunity attack, no, other fall, sneak attack, sneak attack, once per turn, d 6 to one creature, you hit with an attack, the finesse or ranged weapon, if you have advantage on the attack roll, I don't know, it feels like I should just sneak attack here. Um... It's you don't roll. have advantage on the attack roll, so, um... And there's not an ally yeah. for five feet. Did, did, yeah, I know, it's like, I don't have disadvantage, but it also doesn't necessarily mean that I have advantage. Yeah. She should have advantage ah. on Silvery Barbs if she hasn't used it already. Uh, yeah, you could do that, I think. Wait, say that again? You can, you, ha- you have advantage on attack rolls, ability checks or saving throws from silvery bard so you can choose when you want to use that and on top of that um, you've also got uh, steady aim which is a Tasha's thing where if you haven't moved your turn you also gain advantage on an attack roll and I have not moved yes then I think yeah yes. roll again to see if you crit and then you can roll an extra d6 for sneak attack damage oh my god oh my god okay so I roll again with my short bow. Mm-hmm. All right, so back uh, here for just uh, roll an extra d6 for sneak attack damage. Uh, okay, hold on. Give me one second to figure out how to fuck to roll that. And, okay, here we go. Uh, extra 1d6. 1d6. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Noise. Pew, pew, pew. Sure. All right. Apollo. All right. So, because I don't have any bless or anything like that, I'm just going to shoot normally. Yep, okay. shoot that thing. Returning arrow. Damn, once again, oh, should have just made the sharpshooter, for God's sakes. <laughs> ah, That's all good. Time, every time. Alrighty. And this time I'm aiming directly for the student. For Alrighty. The additional dice oh. damage. Yep. Roll that. Five. Five extra. Damage. Oh, and also this is twelve plus five, so seventeen damage. Jesus Absolutely. Christ. Uh. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I. It is not looking good. <laughs> I shot at the, at the, even at the student? Yep. Okay. Um, as a bonus See action. See the student take the damage and then once again is kind of held aloft as the creature larger takes the brunt of that damage. Yeah, as a bonus action, I will, um, I'm going to move my hex to the owl. Alrighty. Nice. The owl is now and the ability score. Uh, it's having people roll dexterity saving throws, so then I guess that wouldn't I guess that wouldn't work. Hmm. Let's do let's do Dex. Alright. Dex. Next up we have Kyra. Um let me check and see how Wither and Flow works really quickly. Okay, cool. Um, sorry, I thought that was one of my concentration spells, but it's not. So that's awesome. Then I'm gonna uh, do Firebolt. Roll that. Ooh. That will absolutely hit. I think Kyrene's Firebolt uh, isn't red. It's 
like hot pink just like their hair and it's sparkly like magical girl uh like bubbles and whatnot kind of sailor moon vibes they're they they just kind of give off that vibe even though they're like very andro looking and yeah <laughs> uh Kyrie will stay where they're at all right um eight points of fight um paul do you know if hex is extra damage when you hit or just extra damage when anyone hits let me check it might be i think it specifies this let's see place a curse on the creature so this you deal so only when i hit okay so as you blast this thing one of its eyes is scorched away completely and it is on its very very last legs can i shout out to it and say we don't have to continue this You shout that. Roll me a persuasion check, Kyrie. Why not? Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Let me hook it up with guidance real quick. No, I'm joking. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Roll a one and make that a dirty 20. <laughs> you see the student is breathing raggedly now uh they are held up mostly by this sort of red sinewy muscle that is sort of dropping down from the ceiling of this bird cage and they look at you kyrene um and they just kind of smile mm. you seem reasonable let's talk somewhere more private yeah and nope 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 uh, nope insight nope. <laughs> insight right <laughs> Are they are going around to... inside the cage with the Caltrops. Oh, that's true. So she wouldn't do that. I completely forgot about the Cal. Caltrop. Uh, in that case, I think the bird to fly. Oh. Hit. Oh. And oh, Kyrene, I'd like you to roll either athletics or acrobatics as the student tries to grapple you through the bars of the cage. Athletics or acrobatics? Um, I'm gonna do acrobatics. Let's see. You got Come this. on. Oh, Kyrene, magical girl yes. transformation, like just spins yes. out the way. <laughs> yes. It's cool as fuck. Like, this is okay. their okay. element, y'all. Okay. It's, Ky Ky the gold it's surprising that Kyrene is a sorcerer because they have mad druid vibes. But like, come on, this is me. As <laughs> this massive, ugly, like rancid claw like reaches out to you through the bars and you just very nimbly just sort of duck out of the way. Uh, you hear a howl of frustration from the student as the owl bears down on you with its beak. Roll me the next day in Satan throw, Kyrie. As the student she's been chatting to himself, let's just talk, let's just talk, let's just talk, let's just talk. <laughs> I'm just passing through, mm -hmm. I'm just passing through, I'm just passing through. <laughs> mm -hmm. Discussion, right, right, right. And sorry, did you tell? Did you say roll a deck saving throw? Yep, deck save. Gotcha. Ooh, wee. Fifteen. You again nimbly dodge your way out of. As Kyrene you take is frustrated. Two points of piercing damage as it grazes you. And at this point, uh, the captive students, their massive towel pan, grip the bars. And you can hear sizzling as the acid starts to sort of burn through their flesh. And they scream at you fully as finally this owl is going to try and roll a grapple check against you, Kyrene. And I need you to roll oh. athletics or acrobatics as a mm. gargantuan talent once again tries to grab you. I was just trying to talk. Dude. All right. All right can we have a to the owl? I'm going to roll for this owl. Yeah, I don't think these things were made for diplomacy. Mm. Well. Kyrene. You are fast. But there is a lot of talent 
to dodge. So Ray Barb's reaction if this thing is about to hit me. Uh, it's about to grapple. Yes, so it's gonna roll again. Wild magic signature. Nice. Oh yeah, roll me uh, a D twenty. Got you. Okay, and also it rolled even higher than the last time. So. Ugh. Oof. All right, I want to give an advan advantage to Apollo. All right, advantage to Apollo. Thank you. You are just barely avoiding a wild magic serve. All right, four or higher next time. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. As all of you watch as this owl grabs Kyrie and then just starts to fly straight up into the air. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This one. No. Kyrie's no. like, this is not what I meant, what I wanted. Someone here had Featherfall. I don't remember who. <laughs> I do. I do. Chowie has Featherfall. Yes. Oh, a moving Just target? Shit, but it's uh, a Shaoru, this, this owl seems to be in the midst of also, flying away with Kyrie. Defeat. Wait, hold on. Did it move ne away from next to me? Don't I get an opportunity? Attack? Yes, it did move. Oh, good point. Yeah. Ooh, you're right. Yeah, yeah go ahead and roll an opportunity. Yeah. Oh, and you got it. Yeah. So feel free to use that. <laughs> uh, is it just like a straight? Uh, what is the opportunity to like? What are we rolling? I would have to. Roll uh, no, with... it would be Apollo, right? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to roll with my. Uh... Right well, here because if I, I, I can't make an opportunity attack with a bow. So, yeah, when the owl's about here, roll your attack. But what are we rolling? Do I roll opportunity initiative? Do I roll that? Because or... me and Apollo was next to each other. You were next to a uh, shop. I think your roll twenty is behind. Oh, goddamn it! Yes. Because Apollo's up there and I'm down there we here. Go. 25 Boo. to hit. 25 will absolutely hit this owl as it is nice. flying away with Kyrie. Now I will see. I think oh, he cut out there. Did he cut out? Yeah, he cut out. Yeah. I will say Kyrie is kind of on the cusp of the edge of this cliff here as you're stabbing towards his creature. Uh oh. Oh my god. still going for it? <laughs> Do oh. it. Do it. Do it. Kyrene, do you trust me? Because she either gonna be gone or she gonna be gone. They, um, question DM. So, how could, so could I, like, let's say if I do fall, right, could I possibly use Gust oh. to propel myself? We'll get there if you do fall. So, Apollo, you're Wait, stabbing okay. this creature. Wait, I yes. trust you. I'm, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna stab the creature. Alrighty. Apollo. Oh, and I can do feather fall on you. Yes, because you're within 60 feet. This owl is flying away with everything. Its back is completely turned to you. Kyrene, you are gripped in the claw of this gargantuan amalgamate owl. Apollo, you aim directly for where you would know the spine of such a creature if it were natural to be, and you strike true. Dead center. <sighs> Bullseye. As Kyrene, you see the light fade from the owl's eye. The student howls in rage. And the two of you go plummeting off this cliff. Feather Falls. I'm casting Feather Falls. I'm casting Feather Falls. You gotta get there first. Yep. No, I... I I'm pretty sure it's a range of 60 it, feet for Exactly. Falls. I can oh, point at any individual within 60 feet of me. And I don't know how to cast that in roll 20, but I am casting fucking Feather Falls. Alrighty. You cast Feather Fall. Kyrene, the momentum of your fall slows 
not anywhere calm near, not anywhere near calm mind you but somewhere that is absolutely not lethal as mm, I have a question you see oh never mind. go, go ahead. for it go ahead. as disappearing uh, far beneath you is the student still trapped uh, in the cage with this owl as they howl and their screams echo um, as they disappear just beneath the cloud and um, so my question real quick so Kyrene's floating there right slowly dropping Kyrene is slowly falling down like approaching this cloud line yeah so what do you what basically do you guys what Trevor oh, right. does is that if any creature is within 60 feet of when I okay. cast it they basically land like a goddamn cat. They land on their feet or whatever. As long as I can catch them. At least based on how I understand it. Would you land five feet away from this cliff edge? You would be, I'd say. Yeah. Could I use Gust and purposely fail the strength saving throw to push myself onto the cliff edge? Ooh. Absolutely. I like to just going here. All right. Yes. So I'll say either yes. roll me, yeah, roll me athletics to grab the edge of this cliff face as you are pushed nice. like, directly against it. All right. Not very athletic. Kyrene is rather clumsy. Oh, it was so close to being an eighteen. All right, check All right, this so... out. Check this out. I'm gonna do a um. I'm gonna do a uh, entangle from the side All of right. the cliff. And right. if, if she just resists the strength check, can she be restrained by it? I would uh, say, yeah. You know, I mean, you can absolutely be restrained by it. So, yeah, I'll do the entangle from the side of the cliff and then ignore the strength check, and then you'll be restrained. Hey, Kyrene, nice. someone's forced me to make a strength check. Would you like to fail or, or not? <laughs> yes. Sure, I'll, I'll fail. While they're like, doing this, <laughs> Apollo's already reaching into his pack to grab a rope. And like start Kyrene is like reaching out towards Apollo, like it to the tree. fucking let me fall. Yeah, no, Kyrene, so this all happens in like a fraction of a second. And so mm -hmm. Kyrene ducks over the edge. Apollo, you stab the creature, the owl tips over the edge. Chawi, you have a split instant to react and get Kyrene before she disappears over the cliff and out of line of sight before Featherfall is just ineffective. And so you cast it. You're not sure if it works or not. Kyrene, you're trying to, to gust and catch yourself, but you can't seem to find person. You are tumbling frantically, it's just absolutely clumsily. And it's the off cold. Sha Shauku, uh, you are peering over the side of the cliff, seeing Kyrene fall. You have to get a good view. You cast Entangle. Kyrene, as you're slipping and slipping and slipping and slipping further and further and further and further down, your hand finds Purchase. Not on stone, but on vine. Yeah. The second vine. Kyrie relaxes Third. into the vine like it, this is it. Like this is home. I got you, baby. I got you. I got you, girl. A second, a third, a fourth. Oh my god. You have stopped falling. Are you okay? As you're catching your breath, uh, you see a rope beginning to be slowly descended. It's tied Downward. off to the tree behind him. Tied off to a tree. The way up is right there. Um, Kyrene honestly looks to where the bird fell to see if they can spot it. I will say, yep. roll me a perception check. All right. You are You're cutting out. Looking out. You are looking out over this cliff on the massive sprawling forest beneath it. You look down and you see through a very recent clearing in the tree line the mangled body of 
what was once a birdcage owl hybrid. And wow. that isn't the only thing you see on a 17. Mm -hmm. Looking out across this intense expanse of trees and clearings and rivers, you see students fighting, surviving, tracking. You see glimpses of a band of students fighting what appears to be a massive rock golem that was hidden in the side of a cliff face. You look another way and you see what appears to be a handful of students fighting a clutch of strange water serpentine creatures by a stream. You look and see a third gaggle of students fighting what appears to be a pack of stark white wolves. Wow. The students of Hillard, you can see, are thriving. Just as you have thrived and just as you have overcame. And that is where we'll end this first session of Class P. That was dope. That was dope. That was cool. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was dope. Wow. Wow. That, okay. Uh, wow. Ooh. Nice. Uh, beautiful. Hi, thank you all for joining. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was fabulous. Oh my God. You did that shit. We all did that shit. Heck yeah. We did. That was, wow. And that was some clutch shit going on. That yeah, was. It really was. Bruh. That opportunity to attack came and I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, somebody. I didn't know. That not. was literally amazing. Was not ready. Was hey, not it's ready. Neo. <laughs> hey. Oh my God. That was, that was ridiculous. Seriously. Well done, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you to the players. Thank you to Neo for creating this world. It's, uh, yeah. It's ridiculous. It's so, ridiculous. Uh, when we get back, we're having omelets, though, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real talk. But teleport those eggs over here real quick. That's amazing. As somebody <laughs> who's not dexterous, not athletic at all, like the fact that Karen was like, you know, dodging that for a second, I was, yeah, was, was kind of impressed. Oh, yeah. oh, Y'all had me so damn stressed this whole time. I was stressed. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna get even now. Wait, no, now. And it just, and it, you know, it just kept playing with me. It was so much fun. Oh my god, yeah, that was fun. I was ready to light that bird up, and then you moved, Look. and I was like, "Oh man, that just killed my whole little, <laughs> my whole little thing." I knew that bird was suspect. Like, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, feels bad about like about that bird. I mean, you know, the bird initially may have been pure and authentic, but the bird got corrupted. The bird got. Well, they were saying that it was a creation of theirs, so. Right. Yeah. So I felt nothing for the bird. <laughs> I mean, the bird <laughs> like, you know what? We got a feather fall down like, the cliff to get get our kill, though, so. I like fried oh, chicken. I keep it 100. I Bro, you should have got the alchemy jug. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> Cool, yeah, I thought the uh, I thought cage birds were not supposed to be good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on what you feed them. You okay. know, I mean, you know. Fried chicken, eggs. <laughs> depends on what you feed them. Oh man, this was amazing. Thank you, Mike. Yes, super duper Mion. Thank you so much. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome DM, awesome DM. I got yes. the awesome Amazing. player. Yeah. You know, it's a, you know, it's yeah. a good game when you actually start feeling things and you start worrying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of oh, yeah. Sure. When you actually start being like, oh, shit, oh, shit, is this? Ah. 
Amazing DM. <laughs> yeah, when he went yeah. over the cliff, I was like, oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was like, this is not what I meant by talking, but cool. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Whoa there. Yeah, she was like, we're going to talk over here. <laughs> also, can I just say that I totally did not expect that the kind of storyline plot line we were going to be on was going to be within the original Hitler University kind of storyline plot line. So when we started out like, hey, it's a monster hunt. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Oh yeah, no. That this is all sounds, taking place at Hillard. That sounds really familiar. It, a, it, excuse me? Well, I wasn't expecting to I jump in that quick. Oh, I was. <laughs> I was ready. We had our session zero. Ready. Let's go. <laughs> I, was, oh, you know, I was ready to like tour and hit the student store real quick, see what they had. I was ready to Oh, some, uh, right, <laughs> like I, I was under the impression that we were going to be able to go through the gift shop before we hit up killing shit, and yeah. there was no gift shop. There was no gift shop. Shaoku, we got to get those mythical hot Cheetos, my guy. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I hate. I hate oh, you. <laughs> And, and I still might get the jug. I, I still might get the alchemy jug though. So don't you know? That's not off the table yet. Look, hey, that's a good idea. If you do get I'll the see you jug, in the crossover, I expect you know what I mean? chicken. Absolutely. I expect chicken. Like, I, Y'all wait to the crossover so episode. Oh, man. That's going to be great. Oh, oh, crossover oh, episode. Dope. I don't even know. I don't know if my stream has enough space for all these tokens. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> right? I saw there was, like, a thing where you could, like, get spice packets, basically, where you could, like, summon spice bags, and I was like... I was thinking about getting explosive seeds. They don't cost that much, like, 0.5 gold. So I mean, if we can do some, we can do some Cajun Owl, I mean, that's going to be crazy. Look, and I, I'm under the impression that Hillard is kind of in like a watery area, and to me that indicates crawfish. If we got crawfish and chicken and flour and oil and spices, I'm just saying. It's gonna be that crazy. sound like a grub to me. I swear to God, it could turn this campaign into a goddamn cooking show. And... <laughs> Look, food wars, let's go. <laughs> Iron Chef Hillard edition. <laughs> Hard Chef Hill edition. Take I the chef now. feet. Let's go. Good, you know we got we got to eat. It's fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I think without further ado, I think that's all we have for y'all tonight. So, uh... all right, folks. Alrighty, let me just. It's been wonderful. Quickly. Yeah, truly. Give some shout outs. Thanks, right. y'all. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, so let's quickly run through and, you know, thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for being here, uh, coming and checking out the stream. Huge shout out to Neo. Huge shout out to Apple for DMing. Um, let's see here. So thank you for the follows. That would be Void with a Voice, King V, Arnthor, Actorian, Christopher, Skits, Taziel, uh, Void with the voice. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciated. Ocean Isle, Froggy Rocks, uh, L A the the In Designs, Ophelia Rosemary, Legend Makes Art, Bryn Breckenicky, Ocean Isle. Thank you again for the subscription as well. And Prim the Oddity and Fri Fri Frisco Flame. I appreciate all of you for the follows and coming and checking out our campaign here. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys. We'll be back next week because we do intend to play once again next week. This has been your Shadow Master, uh, aka Apollo, your spell bow, signing off. I'll see you beautiful sons of guns in the next one. Goodbye.